Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome to my channel. And if it's the first time you're passing through, you can click the thumbs up, the thumbs down, or you can subscribe and you can share and you can interact with my subscribers and you can make a little comment at the bottom if you think what I'm saying is relevant or interesting or if you don't agree. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about the NBA being postponed. Can you imagine the NBA? That is mega. Mega, mega, mega. Now, the, Nash the NBA stands for the National Basketball Association. And this is because, I mean, Trump has actually decided, I mean, he's actually been um, and tested himself because apparently he's been close or in close proximity to some people who have the coronavirus. So he went off and got himself tested. And you have to imagine he is in that vulnerable Age. He is at that vulnerable age where you can catch it. Anyway, he's um, proved negative. So whoever he shook hands with or whatever he said he did with or got in close contact with, he's absolutely fine. Anyway, as a result of NBA players and other famous people catching the coronavirus, they've called off the NBA. So the National Basketball Association is a men's professional basketball league in North America. It's one of the four major professional sports leagues in the United States and Canada and is widely considered to be the premier men's professional basketball league in the world. So celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Justin Timberlake, Brian Murray, Rihanna, you know, Anybody who's anybody goes to the NBA. So the 2019 to 2020 NBA season is the 74th season of the National Basketball Association. The regular season began on 22nd of October 2019 and was supposed to end on April the 15, 2020, but it has been postponed. So the finals were in June, but we don't know what would happen now. We don't know if it's been cancelled or postponed or deferred or whatever they're going to do with it. But no doubt we'll hear in time. So other professional and college sports have also been suspended, cancelled or otherwise modified in America in an endeavour to protect players, fans and ultimately the country. So NBA players. I think it's two or three NBA players are confirmed to have the virus, so it makes sense. President Trump and UK government have tried to ignore or downplay the virus dire impact, but they can do so no longer. Postponing the game is a true indication of the situation that has spiralled out of control. 20 famous people have been infected. Not that they're any better than anybody else, but it just shows you that the virus is does not discriminate. Um, so who are the rich and famous who caught the virus? Well, Tom Hanks is the most recent that we know of, and his wife, Rita Wilson, Sophie Gregoire um, Trudeau, the wife of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. He's in isolation, um, I think, for two weeks because his wife's got it. We've got Arsenal coach Mikel Arteta. Artita, I don't know how you pronounce that. Best-selling Chilean writer, Luis Sepulveda, after he returned from a literary festival in Portugal. He got it. We've got Chelsea winger Callum hudson Odoi, who is British. Italian football defender Daniel Regani. He's tested positive. French basketball player Rudy Gobar has become the first U.S. National Basketball Association player to test positive, prompting, and that's what's prompted the NBA to abruptly suspend the season. And the thing is, with him, he was going around taking the mick out of the coronavirus, touching all the mics and saying, oh, yeah, it's a big scam, big sham. You know, something like what I do sometimes. I'm going to stop now because, hey, he's actually got it now. So Gober has apologised for potentially exposing people to the coronavirus after triggering scorn on social media for pointedly touching every microphone and voice recorder on the table in front of him. And people went after him, you know. People touching that microphone after him. Now everybody's in isolation. 
A second Utah player, Donovan Mitchell, has also been confirmed to have been tested positive for COVID-19. Colombian cyclist Fernando Gaviria is doing well after being admitted to hospital in the United Arab Emirates 10 days ago. So nice when you hear about people getting better. We don't hear enough about people getting better. And that's one of what I missed out in a previous video. The amount of people who are who've been released, who are absolutely fine after catching the coronavirus. Um, he is the second of two cyclists at the UAE tour to have been identified with the virus after Russian Gazprom cyclist Dmitry Strakov. Spain's equality minister Irene Montero has tested positive and has been quarantined along with her partner, Deputy Prime Minister Pablo Iglesias. Actually, I haven't heard about um, that singer, something like Iglesias. I can't remember his name now. Same surname. I got way off track, don't I? Okay, French culture minister Frank Rista is um, staying in his Paris home after contracting the coronavirus earlier this week. British MP Nadine Doris, a minister in the health department, how ironic, who helped craft the legislation to fight the bug, has tested positive. The first British politician to do so. Um, several senior officials in Iran have been affected, including Vice President Masume Ebtikar and Iraj Arichi, Deputy Health Prime Minister. I mean, Deputy Health Minister. Oh, it's ironic, both health ministers. Australian Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton has entered hospital quarantine after being infected. The other part of the suspension is in keeping with medical professionals, urging people to avoid large crowds because that spreads the virus much faster. A single infected person, if they show no symptoms, sitting in a sports stadium filled with 20,000 fans could infect not only those sitting around them, those they walk in with, those in the food line with them, but also those who come in contact with the virus they leave behind when touching doors, faucets, toilet handles, etc. If they infect just 10 people and each of those infect 10 others and so on, thousands will be infected. So as of Saturday night, there were more than 2,900 confirmed cases in the US and at least 59 corona-related deaths. And they're coronavirus-related. They're not actually, the coronavirus solely hasn't contributed to their deaths. Um, and that was, um, the source is John Hopkins University. Um, what else have we got? Okay, and these here's an overview of the key events that have been cancelled or postponed or what are happening. We've got all the sporting events, concert and other mass gatherings will be cancelled from next week after Boris Johnson performed an about turn over the government's handling of the coronavirus as of next week. Sporting events, concerts and other mass gatherings will be cancelled. UK schools are also preparing for an extended Easter holiday. That makes sense. I know at our workplace, a lot of the trainings have been cancelled. One of the girls was saying, oh, I went to training last week and one of the girls came up and hugged me because she hadn't seen me for so long. And she's like, that's not on. You can't be hugging people nowadays. You know, it's not going to be received well. <laughs> this is a no-touch policy. Smile, hello, but don't touch. Um, Non-essential hospital procedures have been cancelled in Wales. Donald Trump has declared a national emergency and announced plans to work with private companies to increase capacity for coronavirus testing. The president also said that the UK could be included in Europe-wide travel bans. And this coronavirus testing, that's a bit of a anomaly because, you know, you've got a lot of people who, um, what are they going to do with them when they find out, like, if they're going into these poor neighbourhoods who can't afford healthcare um, and they're going in there and, t and testing them, 
What are they going to do with them? Are they going to shove them in this big detention center? I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, or whether it's just going to be, I don't know how they're going to work that. Um, Mr. Trump gets tested for the coronavirus after he came in contact with confirmed cases, but he's been proved negative. Canada has warned citizens not to go abroad, and Ireland has recommended against travel to other states in the European Union. Poland and Denmark have closed their borders, and Malta announced plans to quarantine everyone entering the country for 14 days. So there's no point going there for a holiday, because the whole 14 days you're going to be in quarantine. Royal Caribbean has suspended cruises in the U.S., of A, and the International Monetary Fund has told all its staff at Washington, D.C. headquarters to work from home. And the U.N. in New York has announced it will slash its staff presence for four weeks. Wow. And I guess they'll all be paid, be paid but they're just sending them home. KLM has announced plans to cut 2,000 jobs and reduce working hours by one-third for all staff. Uruguay, Kosovo and Suriname have detected their first cases. And like I said in, in the other video, Junior Health Minister Nadine Doris, who tested positive this week, has said that her 84-year-old mother has also been diagnosed with COVID-19. That's sad. She probably caught it from her, maybe, because she wouldn't have known that she had it. And if it was in the incubation period, you just never know. So, um, yeah, I hope you found that useful. I'm not quite sure what you're going to do with the information, but it's just information sharing, really. Bye-bye.